We've had two days in the 60s, yeah. in fact, and we are getting a little too used to it, mm -hmm. I think, because it is still late January. We've still got February ahead of us, and February, by the way, is the snowiest month on average in Philadelphia. It's also the second coldest month, January being number one. And it has been that cold over the past couple of days, though. After a cold start to January, we've been nice and warm, but that's all about to change. Let's take a look at what's going on outside tonight. Temperatures are dropping, but certainly a whole lot quieter than it was about 12 hours ago when a strong cold front was blasting through this morning at around 11 o'clock. We had heavy thunderstorms, lots of heavy rain with that and slowdowns on area roadways. Now Center City looking very quiet. Here's what that looked like though with the time lapse video. You can see through the morning hours all that heavy rain coming through. It came in right until about the lunch hour and then cleared out nicely and some beautiful colors in that sunset tonight with the storm offshore. And the storm is continuing Continuing to move offshore, most of the precipitation is done for. We do have a little bit of snow or snow showers across New York State and portions of New England. An indication of how much colder that air is coming in around the backside of our low. But locally, we've got clear skies outside tonight, a brisk west wind making it feel a little colder than the thermometer indicates. But all in all, it's pretty seasonable outside and will be tomorrow as well. 45 still in Philadelphia. In fact, we've got winds out of the west, as you can see, 42 in Wilmington, 44 in Allentown. It's 35 in Mount Pocono, but you can see some colder air lurking just in the wings here. It's in the 30s in State College and in Pittsburgh. It's 29 degrees right now in Buffalo. Future weather, we're going to set this into motion and just let it play because notice, watch Philadelphia. There's nothing happening Thursday, Friday, takes you right through the end of the week. It's sunny, it's dry, high pressures in control. This is a sunny stretch, but temperatures fluctuate a little bit as we head into tomorrow and Thursday. Notice the chilly air is in place and then watch how quickly milder air starts to lift in Friday and Saturday. But by early next week, we've got another round of chilly air lurking in the wings and that will be released Monday into Tuesday. So it's kind of an up and down temperature pattern. Not a whole lot to talk about in the way of precipitation today in the 60s. Tomorrow is about 20 degrees colder. There's your drastic drop Thursday only in the 30s, but notice that warm up We're right back to 53 degrees by Saturday. So tonight we drop to the 30s. It's going to be a little chilly with the breeze. It'll feel like the 20s in many spots when you wake up tomorrow morning, but tomorrow is a pretty seasonable day. It's cool compared to today, but 43 is right on target for the end of January. Thursday's a little colder, but at least it's sunny. Friday, we're back to 44 and then 50s again for the weekend. That's two weekends in a row above average chance for rain shower Sunday, and then it does look colder Monday into Tuesday. Maybe a snow shower Monday, but not bad. All in all, no. not bad at all. Can't complain about that. Not at no. all. Not at Thanks, all. Kate.